if you all can hear me, we've already called the meeting to order. And we just had a technical glitch that keeps going out. So the meeting was called to order at 2.16 p.m. today on Friday, uh, June 5th, 2020. So we were going to proceed to Chairman Thomas to introduce our guest who's going to give our invocation today. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. It is my honor and pleasure this afternoon to introduce my theater arts teacher, Dr. Ricky Rush. Dr. Ricky Rush is a senior pastor of the inspiring body of Christ Church, an internationally acclaimed speaker, teacher, and pastor illustrator who is known for the engaging and humorous ways in which he simplifies the word of God. Pastor Rush earned a secondary teaching degree from the University of Texas at Arlington, which led him to teach theater arts for 17 years at Skyline High School in Dallas, Texas. Later, he obtained a Doctor of Divinity degree. Somebody gave you a doctorate, Dr. Rush? From Rialto Bible College, which afforded him the opportunity to work on the house and pastors at the collegiate level. In 1990, Great year, by the way. Pastor Rush founded the inspiring body of Christ Church, Abbott, and church membership flourished with tens to more than 15,000. He has ensured that Abbott fulfills the words of Jesus found in Matthew 4:19: "Follow me, and I will make fishes of men." Think of a fish tank to illustrate that at the church. I'm glad to honor. I'm glad to present my friend. And my teacher, Dr. Ricky G. God bless you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to all of you, to our mayor, to all of you councilmen, to our citizens for allowing me the opportunity to just whisper a word of over you. And I just kind of want to say that this in the midst of what we're all going through in, as a city and a nation, I want to kind of pray right now what I want to like to call a marathon prayer. Because I think that all of us right now, all of you, well, leaders in this city are on a marathon. This is not a sprint. Even this meeting today, which is not going to take five minutes, 10 minutes, it's going to be a, a race, a meeting of endurance. So as I pray over you today, I thank you for the opportunity. Lord, I thank you right now because there are those that are listening. There are those that are listening right now who have been selected, chosen, voted in, and entrusted with the leadership of this city. And so right now, Lord, I pray for strength over our mayor, over our council, over the listeners, over our law enforcement officers. I pray for strength over their families. God, these men and women still have families and people who love them that they must care for after caring for others. So I pray for them. And during this marathon prayer, I pray that these marathon runners would have the endurance, God, to not quit, to not get weary and well-doing. And I speak directly to their spirits because physically our bodies have just about had enough. But God, when we think we can make another step, we pray that you will pump us in our spirits with a spiritual fuel to make us go another step. And then I pray during this prayer for wisdom, the wisdom, Lord, that we would know how to pace ourselves. We want so much to be done so fast and so many people want what they want right now that we're operating in a microwave society. Now this is a conventional oven situation that is starting to rise and help us, God, to pace ourselves. And the last thing that we want to ask for and thank you for today is the protection. Protect these marathon runners. Protect all of us as we continue to run, to walk, and not be weary. Protect our health. Protect our spirits. Protect our lives. Protect our minds. And help us, God if at all possible, to find comfort still in waiting on you as you're constantly providing answers. Teach us how to recognize the answer. And most of all, to say thank you, God, for the process toward victory. In Jesus' name, we thank you so much for honoring us and listening to us. Amen. Amen. This time we'll now have our Pledges of Allegiance for those of us who are physically here. If you would please rise and recite the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. 
I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Okay. Um, 